you know what? It's funny because yeah, I, I tell a whole lot of people this when they talk about you know great players and they bring up Larry Bird. I said, listen, the dude couldn't jump, wasn't fast, you know, but wasn't athletic. Mm-hmm. But you look on the score, you know, the, the <laughs> score sheet after the game, he got 25, 15 rebounds, nine assists, a few still. I said, the dude just knew how to play, yes. right? And the thing that I loved about him is that he was a shit talker. <laughs> See, I, and I wish you'd have got a chance to play against him, Robert, because I swear yeah. to God, you'd have loved playing against mm-hmm. him because the dude would just tell you where he's going, shoot it in your face, talk shit to you, and run back down the floor. Yeah. And he he was he was just one of those guys that, you know, he he had – he just had it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, he I had it. And yeah. I saw it in college and obviously saw it a whole lot closer mm-hmm. <laughs> when we get a chance yeah. to play against the Celtics. He was the biggest trash talker back in the day, but he would back it up. Yeah, Rob, I wish you would have played against him, man. Larry Bird was the biggest shit talker in the league back in the day. <laughs> He would tell you exactly where he was going, what he was going to do. And he did that to us in the finals. He was like, guys, don't worry about it. I'm going to go right over here to the corner. I'm going to catch the ball. I'm going to shoot it. And ain't shit y'all can do about it. I mean, just like – and he did exactly that. You know, yeah. So I wish you would have got a chance to play against him. You know, because I always think about that moment. I don't know how true this is, but you remember the time when he was playing Atlanta and he told the guy – he says, I'm a bank of three on you. And the guy says, bullshit. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on an out-of-bound play. Throughout the game, it was yep. one way, throughout the yep. game, he never got to say, he said, you know what? He goes back in the game. I think he had like 50 points that yeah, game or something. Up, Kevin, and, I noticed too, because Kevin McHale yeah. ended up having the most points ever scored by uh, a Boston Celtic, mm-hmm. right? And Larry told him he should have got 60 because he broke it against Atlanta like yeah. two or three days later. <laughs> yeah, and it was in the bench. Atlanta bench got in trouble because they out here rooting for Brian. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you can see it. If, yeah. I mean, if you go back and look at the tape, you can see the bench, yeah. every shot he made. Yeah. They're going crazy. It's like, he unbanked this one. It's like, see, that's what you want. Because when someone's telling you what they can do and you can't stop it, you know they're a bad they're man. bad so, man. Yeah. But I, I look at guys in this era now and you you say, okay. You look at Bird and says, well, I could have stopped him because, you know, he, he's slow. It's sort of like Luca now. Luca, yes. You watch Luca. Luca yes. is so freaking slow. And you're like, why can't they stop that? Right. I'm like, yes. but when you're crafty and you know how to play, that's all you That's that's all you need. Yeah. yeah. I, I think Bird is fast compared to Luca. <laughs> <laughs> I see Luca, he be going slow as hell. And he'll get by you. But, yo, Larry probably looked like fucking sprinter compared to, <laughs> compared to the way Luca plays. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. 